Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I set up the home switches for the G0602 CNC conversion. What you're looking at here is sort of a clamshell bracket that I designed to hold the micro switches that I got. Uh, check the link in the description for uh, where I bought the switches on Amazon. I don't get anything from you by sending you over there. Um, these switches are pretty good. Uh, repeatability is probably about a thousandths or maybe two thousandths uh, at best, which is not, it's honestly not as good as I need it to be. So I'm probably gonna have to come up with a better solution eventually. Uh, what I'm showing you here is a carriage stop that I modified from a design I found online. Uh, you can get both of these models on my GrabCat account and uh, link in the description. And I give credit uh, on GrabCat for whoever made this model. I, I don't remember what it is, but I'll show it to you in just a second. So this is the x-axis. You can see I've just got that little piece of metal bent up. And uh, when I home the x, it comes out and uh, hits the switch, backs off and hits it at a slower speed. And now the x is homed. For the z-axis, the reason I used the carriage stop was I thought it might be handy to be able to slide the carriage stop closer to the chuck if I didn't need all of the length. The problem is then you end up changing offsets and it's just kind of a pain. So I don't even do it that way anymore. These switches are wired together in series, so if either switch is triggered during the homing process, or any time really, uh, it just signals one pin on the breakout board. So they're also used as limits uh, going you know, towards me in the X and to my right in the Z, but I don't really use them for limits. Once you've got homing switches set up, you can go into your controller. So with Linux CNC, I can go in and set my soft limits. And with the soft limits, which just means software limits, I never really have problems. Uh, I haven't crashed due to a limit issue. And uh, yeah, it's actually worked really well. So I'm not gonna show you how I wired this onto the breakout board, but uh, like I said, it just goes to one pin. So it, it takes five volts to one pin, then goes back to ground. Um, if you want, Linux CNC can be set up for, you know, home limit, whatever. I mean, you could run as many switches as you have inputs and run them each to an input. Um, I'm just doing it this way because on my breakout board, I'm very limited on the number of inputs that I have. So I just wire them together on a single input. Uh, this means you can't home the X and Y axis at the same time. They need to be homed, uh, one at a time. So I always just do the X and then the Y, uh, that's all, really all there is to it. Um, go check out my GrabCat if you want to download these, uh, these files and use them however you like. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.